Alum of GMA3 Amy Robach flaunts her six-pack abs while riding with her daughter Annalise to the gym in New York City. The 50-year-old is an exercise addict who frequently gets spotted on the streets of New York City wearing varied gym attire. She was taking her daughter Annalise, 17, to the gym this time. Amy had on a tight black camouflage pair of leggings, a black zip-up sweater, and a black sports bra that showed off her abs. Short black shorts and a gray Martha's Vineyard sweater were what her daughter was sporting. She also had a cup of iced coffee with her and her iPhone. They were both talking loudly as they made their way down the sidewalk. They both faced the downpour without an umbrella despite it being pouring. The GMA3 alum will not accept a job at News Nation that would give her her own show, an insider close to her exclusively revealed to the U.S. Sun. Despite earlier rumors that she might be joining the network, Amy has said that she is waiting for the right opportunity. According to another source, there is no truth to this deal and no one around Amy has any idea where this false News Nation information came from. Amy would have purportedly received her own program if she had accepted the offer, but it wouldn't have featured her 45-year-old ex-boyfriend and former co-host TJ Holmes. According to the description, the program was a weekly talk, sit down with different newsmakers and human interest stories around the world. Getting up, seven months after they were let go from GMA, Amy and TJ seem prepared to get married. According to a source who spoke to US Weekly, the TV personalities are in a good place. They stated, they're putting the past behind them and focusing on their future as a couple. The informant also disclosed that they intend to live together and eventually propose. After being observed on multiple outings together in November 2022, their illicit relationship was first revealed. The daytime TV hosts were fired in January following a protracted sabbatical from GMA. After their relationship came to light, the ABC network, and they debated how to approach the controversy for several months.